I I was just reminiscing the comedy display mm. we put up before we ended the show yesterday. Ah, so when something. you just started, ah, this morning, I thought we were going to get another dose. There was something like that it. yesterday. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you remember you played a video of a child who says that her dad never the one allows was accusing her, her father. exactly to watch her cartoons. Yeah. So that's when the whole comic relief after yeah, the show started yeah. yesterday. The show and is I, supposed to educate, inform, and entertain. So, oh, so it's you're a doing, full package. So you're doing all three. Yeah, entertain, inform, okay. educate. Yeah. Okay. So it's a package. Okay, right. It's a package. Today right. is Wednesday too. It's my day. Ah, yeah, are you so. biting this morning? Yeah, we will bite. Um, there are things on my mind that we have to talk about. Uh, many things or just a few things? A few things. <laughs> Today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. directed towards the president? I I honestly don't know. Um, let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah. All let's right. see what happens. But maybe before you, you get there, since we are supposed to inform, mm -hmm. um, can we or mm -hmm. may we inform our viewers that um, the commencement date for the collection mm -hmm. of the e-levy, which was slated for mm. the 1st of May, yeah. may not yeah. happen. The collection may not I start. I think Kowichika crack. It may not start on First that day. day. Exactly. It may not start on that day because mm. um, the minority side in parliament mm have actually i'd rather say three mps on the minority but side. they are they are they are part of the minority well they are but listen it, is that a minority leader position? leader haruna is part of it yeah now if he is the leader of the minority side i take it that that's the whole minority sir okay that's okay well that's, that's how i'll take I, it i can't fault you exactly yeah. that's how i'll take it that that's the entire minority mm -hmm. now they are stating five reasons for injuncting the collection of this e levy, mm -hmm. um, one of which is is is. I was going to say something. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that phrase that I was going to use <coughs> may may put me in in trouble this morning. I'm I'm not but, ready but for. But just to place a record that is an injunction. Uh, interlocutory so it would stay up until some time exactly and so may maybe we don't need to get into the merits of the matter properly okay we just need to we can rehash what they are exactly they are asking for mm. and all of that which is <clears throat> before the court anyway. okay so on your screens right now are some of the reliefs that they are seeking actually five of them and the first one right there stating that um the number one one, the num number one, declaration that ba that based on the constitution and outcome of Abdullahi versus the AG case, the speaker, when the speaker put the question for the second reading of the electronic transfer levy bill 2021, parliament lacked the required quorum to vote on the motion before the house, there being only 136 members present in the chamber of parliament. Relief number two, a further declaration that by reason of the earlier relief above the purported vote on the motion for the second reading of the electronic transfer bill by the 136 MPs is in contravention of Article 1041 and therefore null and void mm. and of no effect whatsoever. Relief number three, a declaration that when the Speaker puts the question to the House for their reading on the electronic transfer bill 2021, Parliament lacked the requisite quorum to pass the said electronic mm. transfer bill 2021. Relief number four, a further declaration that the purported third reading and subsequent passage of the electronic levy bill is in contravention of, okay, I've read that. And then number five, an order for the courts to set aside the purported electronic levy bill by the 136 <coughs> MPs of the majority <coughs> caucus present in the chamber of parliament on the 29th of March has been unconstitutional, <coughs> um, <coughs> null and void. So these are the five reliefs that they are seeking, reasons they have injuncted um, the collection of e-levy right. from the 1st of, First May, of May 2022. But the big question on the minds of everybody, and yesterday I was listening to former NDC aspirant, Eli Klim Agbemava. Agbemava, yes. Former presidential. Exactly. Yeah. And he was saying that 
why now just all of a sudden, and I'm saying all of a sudden because you walked out of parliament, mm. you had the chance that day to correct all the wrongs. You knew that they, the, the, the majority side didn't have the numbers. You said you counted, you did a head count. So the people that you saw there, you knew that they didn't have the numbers. Mm. So if they didn't have the numbers, why did you walk out? Well, so as I said, I will not uh, get into the merits of the matter because of okay. uh, sub issues. Okay. Um, yeah, but I'd like to stay away from it. Okay. Following my media ethics and media no, uh, but media, lessons, it yeah. is what people are asking. That's well, who I am I, I asking cannot, this morning. Because like, when, when eventually I'm the just courts, asking the for courts the sit and they decide to cite people, mm. they won't look for the people. No. They'll look for you. They'll look for me. Mm, so, I know, but me too. I'm so just stay, saying what is in the stay news. Stay off slippery ground. I'm just saying what is in the news. <laughs> Yesterday, I, I, our friend fact, I, In fact, I asked that question before. Mm. And, and I asked that, that question of the minority. And I said, look, look, you would let people on to know and believe that you're against the E-Levy. Mm -hmm. Now you have a big chance and you walk out, mm -hmm. just like the maj majority walked out on their own budget, mm -hmm. a big conversation. So maybe they should be telling us what they know. And I would not base my uh, facts on somebody's alleged or supposed head count. Mm -hmm. When you go to parliament, mm -hmm. there's a green document they call the votes and proceedings. Mm -hmm. That's usually like the minutes of everything that transpired in parliament. It will tell you who was present, who was not, who was absent with permission, who was not. It will tell you who dotted which I and crossed which T. It will tell you wh who said what mm. on the floor of parliament. Mm. So I would rather base my arguments on that. On, the, okay. on that day when the question was put and the, and the, the, the vote was, was passed, who was in parliament, who was not. The votes and proceedings will be able to tell me who was and who wasn't. Okay. You know, and, that, and that's what I would rather base my mm. uh, stuff on. But again, it raises key questions. The government already had originally had 6.9 billion as a target for E11. Now it's reduced. Yeah, <laughs> the numbers are going down. So <laughs> does it make a strong argument for the government to still go ahead? Um, well, it says that it's all the back and forth. You know, we should have started collecting this way, way, way earlier. Mm. Maybe sometime in January. You remember this whole brouhaha started <coughs> in November <coughs> last year. Yeah. So if we had come to an agreement on time, mm. the collections would have been underway and mm. would have gotten, what month are we in? This is April. This is April. So maybe four, let's just say three months of it. Wow. Yeah. Well, but I'm saying that again, it comes back to the questions mm. about consultations okay. and conversations right. and trying to reach a consensus. Mm -hmm. The government's posture initially even before the announcement was made on the 17th of November, mm -hmm. that's when the budget was read, mm -hmm. people had not been engaged. Yeah. So all the subsequent or the sequel of uh, town hall meetings, and right. in fact, we're told that we're going to have 10, uh, 16 regional town hall meetings. Right. We only had six, yeah. 10 outstanding. But the E-Levy has been passed. It's been signed. It's been gazetted, which means that it is law. We have to go and collect it. Uh, but for this injunction. Yeah. Now, the question is, have we brought people along? Because... The Momo operators are saying, we were not consulted. I interviewed their president the other Everybody day. Everybody is saying we yeah. were not consulted yeah. until, you know, after it was passed. So there, there are lots of questions that, you know, if we're trying to win the support of people trying to bring them to the center, trying to rally around the flag, trying to raise revenue for rally developmental purposes, we, we must get rally everybody right the flag, in the center. Right, right you know, but, but hey, speaking of which, um, mm. it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Don't be like me. It's okay. Because some of the things I want to say, I'm like, no, it's okay. It's okay. No, don't be like me. Am I rubbing you off the right way or the wrong way? It's okay. It's fair. Is it the rubbing you off? Yeah, Robin Hood. Are you ready to bite? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's take it.